Welcome to this channel. This channel is for education and culture based on historical and scientific evidence. So in the previous few YouTubes, I share on the Bong applications of the Wing Chun 1850 and uh, that leads to many discussions between uh, Wing Chun friends and me. And uh, one of the topic come up is the wooden dummy. So today I like to share with you on the wooden dummy training. Now we need to really clear on what is going on with the Wing Chun today or in past 130 years. Seriously, technically, not based on me, but based on General Qi Ji Guang standard, the Ming Dynasty military standard, which is the 1850s Wing Chun based on. Based on that standard, and that standard is actually really similar with today's MMA standard or Kyokushin standard or Western boxing standard. The Wing Chun you see today based on that standard is a very low level of training since 130 years ago. It is very low level. It is for beginner. However, all those hundreds of years, it doesn't get to the higher level of Wing Chun based on like Chi Chi Guang's uh, standard or like today's MMA standard. It stops at the low level and then everybody put in their five cents on how they can do things differently. Like for example, a Tan Sao, you can have uh, many, many creative thinking of what is a Tan Sao and so forth. And you can see in the history that many things was created in Hong Kong around 1950. And then this what they create based on this low level training passing back to mainland China because in the 1966 to 1976 China practically is you, doesn't have, you don't have people who train martial arts because there's cultural evolutions so you get back to China and then it repackage and uh, it will show different type of uh, variations, but no matter what it is, still within that, uh, that lower level. So, you say, well, Hendrik, you say this, will you take responsible for what you're saying? I said, yes, because today I'm going to show you. Serious. If Wing Chun is not going to reform the Wooden Dami is not going to reform. You don't have Wing Chun. Why? Because you are at that lower level, keeping spinning off things based on different people's opinion. And then you got those people who go study a little bit Tai Chi and this and say, Fa Jing, internal Wing Chun. Sorry, those kind of things will never get you to be able to fight in the level like General Chi Chi Guang or MMA today. That's why you always saying you train some way, you are, you, you're going to fight in a different way. So how the way you fight? You are using Western boxing, you are using kickboxing, you are using BJJ, you are using wrestling. That's how you fight, face it. So the thing you train, your Fa Jing, your, have you ever used it? No. Why? Because again, 
you are using a very beginner level of stuff and then uh, package it uh, you, you, uh, you have all kinds of interpretation but you don't know what's going on on top of that so your wooden dummy all the wounded army is only training, you stand in the same, in the same distance and training your hand techniques. Are you serious that that is the way how the reality of fight is? It is not. I mean, who is going to go, oh, I'm going to do a Tan Sao and then I'm going to strike. I'm going to do a Bong Sao and then I'm going to strike like the movie. My experience, to be exact, 1974. I have a Kyokushin class uh, sparring sessions. And I was saw in the New Martial Hero magazine about this Bong Sao. So I'm trying, trying it out this new type of uh, Bong Sao in the Hong Kong New Martial Hero magazine. Get how, guess how it ended up. So my classmate strike me, I do a Bong Sao. The next thing I got is a round horse kick to my ribcage. This is what happened in the real life. Do you have time to bong? You don't. Okay? When you go for real like that. So there's a reality in my experience. Not to mention I play with a few different uh, friends in Southeast Asia who play Thai boxing. You don't have time for that. Okay? So all this training, what, what is this for? This lineage, a secret, that lineage, secret, this secret set, that secret set. Come on. You know what is the truth mean in martial art? Be it from a Jenna, Chi Chi, Guang, or Kyokushin. Truth mean be honest. Whatever it works, whatever it doesn't work, you need to know. Of course, you can argue. You can do this, do that, do that, these techniques. Well, who is your opponent? At that time, when I get the kick in the Kyokushin class, th there's a senior who fought in, uh, in, in, in participate in the Kyokushin Open always and trained for the Japan Kyokushin Open. Okay? So there's a reality. Now, so that's what I want to tell you what is going on. Today I'd like to share with you how is the real dummy practice has to be. Wing Chun dummy is like a simulator. Like when you want to learn to fly a plane, you have a simulator. Why you need a simulator? You need to be good at the simulator so that you cut down your damaging or your casualty. So prior to your sparring, you need to train with the dummy. Now, of course, the dummy I mentioned is not like a today's dummy with all this hand because what all those dummy will not be able to do what I'm going to share with you. In the ancient, the dami is simply a tree, a tree, a wooden lock, a tree. Okay, so in today, we can have a, a dami, and you just put one hand there. You can have one hand here or one hand here, depend on the, 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 the purpose of training. Those are the dami, dami you'll be able to simulate. In the real life, how is this play is going to take place? 
Now we know that since General Chi Chi Guang time, the rule is it is a momentum game of changing distance, changing angle, changing level. You never want to touch the opponent's hand for nothing. Okay? You never want to block. The ideal situation is you go in, you just attack him, his opening, not to playing with this hand. Like many of Wing Chuners always saying, not chasing hand. But your wooden dummy is completely chasing hand. You never train. What is not chasing hand, but going direct? So general Chi Chi Guang teaching actually is there. When you say that not teaching hand, that's what general Chi Chi Guang said. Not touching, not resisting, not pairing, but just strike. Wing Chun is a soft art. Chi Chi Guang said, soft art meaning that you dodge and you get in. Okay, you dodge and you get in. So now you say, well, Hendrik, you talk so much bullshit. So how is it? Well, I'm going to share with you six, six methods you better train if you, you call yourself Wing Chun. Six methods with the simulator wooden dummy. Or else, you know, come on, you cannot play. You're going to still talking about train wooden dummy, but you fight with what? Fight with BJJ, fight with kickboxing, fight with Western boxing, fight with Western wrestling. I mean, face it, okay? Who are we going to kid? Truth mean honesty. Ultimate truth mean ultimate honesty. You know what is going on there. Like Chi Chi Guang, he is honest about it. His people, his Chinese sword play cannot fight the Japanese samurais, katana, attack. You cannot take it. The Japanese, the, the, the Chinese sword at that time, two sword put together. The Japanese katana can smash and break both. You want to be like General Chi Chi Guang? Like the real Chinese ancestor? You better be honest. Okay? So let's get to this, our simulator. Okay, the wooden dummy for the real deal. Six, I give you six today. This is the basic. If you do this, you practice it, you'll be fluent with it, proficient with it, you will be able to change in real sparring. And this is Wing Chun. Without this, forget about those Tan Pong folk and all those, or oh, the Grandmaster movie. I mean, come on. Okay? Grandmaster doesn't mean that it's real Grandmaster, it's a name. So, the first three, the first three combo I want to share with you that it must be trained using the dummy or it must be trained in the simulator. The first thing is the Tan Da. Okay, the Tan Da, the triangle shape. But this is not your Tan Da triangle shape. It is not what you think. Those are what in the low level thing. And they, they might think, oh, it works. Sure, it works. Work with your student, work with the smaller guy. When you go to with the pro, have you ever seen it works? It never. So how is this thing works? How is this Tan Da work? You face him. Arm to arm, face to face. So this can be opponent, or you can use a simulator, or just with a wooden dummy, strip off all everything, but just put a hand there. So you know that it is square. Tan Da is from here. This is the long range. You need to change the distance and the angle. So, you want to shoot in here. Okay, shoot in here. Your tan is receiving from here. And your strike is strike from here. Top view, 
This is a straight line. You are not going to go to, 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 to crush something in the straight line. You want to go in like that, close to him already. Okay, so from here, you want to get into this range, okay, where your, your knee can, can attack him, his knee's range. Your angle, your tanta, your triangle in is from here. From here. Okay? So the triangle is not from here, but triangle is from here. So like this, right? You shoot in, your triangle is here. This leg can attack him, okay? It's a short strike. Your body can lean in. So this is the triangle attack. You see the changing of the distance and changing the, the, the angle. This is the angle I want. And then I can, of course, continue. This is a tan. So it's like this, right? I just go this way, tan da, okay? And then this one can change to fok sao, drive in. Fok sao, just smash in. So, it's from here, tan da, and you drive in. This is a triangle. This is what you need to practice with the wooden dummy, but today's dummy, you cannot do that. You don't have the room to play that, the triangle entry. This is the triangle entry. The second entry, again, the changing of distance and changing of the angle. The second entry is what is the Huyn Sao this is a circular. So Huyn Sao, again, is getting in, but it is this way. This hand smashes his face behind on his head. So the Huyn, you get in, you smash his head. Okay? So again, Facing you square, I'm not going to go try to stop you or anything. You shoot out this Huyn Sao to the first hand. This thing is coming from here because it is this kind of circle. And of course, after you get this strike, this strike is pulling back. You drop him. That's the second. Okay? The Huyn Sao. The first is this. The third one is the Ngao Sao. Ngao Sao is not standing like that. Uh, have your elbow not moving, using your elbow power, and then punching him with your hand. Ngao Sao is, if you look at the first, the triangle, I'm face to him. So I get him outside here. The circle, same thing. I am shoot off him. Now, what, what happens if my, my body is in between here? Now, I'm not close to the outside. So, the third one, the spiral. The spiral is Ngao Sao. So, the spiral is from here. You move in here. Smash him. Okay? Again. His hands about here, I'm using the Ngao Sao to pivot him out. So I'm now getting out here, smash him here. This is pulling his hand back, smash down, okay? Because this is going up here already. So, facing like that. Now, this hand, you, 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 you just, whatever, this is called whip hand or, or, or fat sao, whatever you call it. Once you whip, because your hand is on the top here, you're going down like that. Okay? 
circle, boom. It is circle. This is a circle. Smash. You don't want to. You want to continue on on this. Smash down. Okay. Now you look at that. It is all momentum. That momentum. That type of angle to get in. That distance change. It never is. Tanda, there's a triangle shape, Tanda. Come on, man, it is the entire thing move in, Tanda. Okay? It is the entire thing move in, Tanda. It's not standing there, Tanda, triangle shape. No, it's Tanda, Fukta. Circle is not standing here. Circle out his hand, punching him. It is slips in, attack him from the other side, turn into the back pool, drop him. That's what, why you need your, your wooden dummy for. You're testing it out, this simulator. So this is from long range in. Now when you go to the short range, which is the Wing Chun sticking body short strike just now, is from here you shoot into the close. Now, at this close already, say you shoot in already, say you use a bong, you shoot in already. This close, okay? So I just make this so that you can see. This can attack, body can attack, this I can attack. Of course, this is going to attack. So the bong sao is going to go straight in. You slips in. Or, I then going to slip in. Or, I'm going to do the, 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 the elbow breaks. What is the point to put this bong zao this? As what I said, my bad experience, I got a round horse kicked down in the rib, okay? 1974. It depends on who you fighting. Depend on if people pull back or not, okay? So, you, you can just uh, put a, a trunk and a, a hand. That's all you need. Forget about this leg. His leg, he, the trunk is his leg. You go inside there, you can attack, okay? You go inside there, you can attack, changing your angle attack, changing your angle attack. There's from the bong. From this bong, he's going to slip. You're going to do poor pie. Okay, so from this bong, he's going to slip. You want to get in there between his leg or crush his leg, and then you poor pie him. You're not going to stand here and do poor pie. He's going to go back here. You stop him. You attack his lower part of the body. You go in. Okay? So there's the paw pipe. There's the second. Remember the first is the bong sao, where you can have a strike here or strike here. The second is the paw pipe. You can change from the uh, bong to the paw pipe, but you have to move your body, your momentum. Okay? Now, from here, you can get into something called Chang Chui. So, Chang meaning you push him away, Chui meaning you strike him. So, what is the Chang Chui for? Say I'm here, Po Pai. He moved he move away to this. He moved here. I can step in, step in. Raise my hand to cover his face, pushing his, his, his face, strike him. This is to make room. Chang Chui is for making room. When it's so close, you want to make room. While you're attacking him, you want to stick at him, you want to make room, that's called Chang Chui. 
So you have the bong. Okay. You have the paw pie. Okay, you have from the paw pie you can do a chang tree. All of this is the play here. The bong, the paw pie, the chang tree. Okay, again, the bong, the paw pie. You move in here, the chang and tree. Always can come up and down, different angle. So I give you six of it today, the very basic. The triangle, Tanda, the Huinda, the uh, Ngao Sao. The bong, the paw pie, the chang tree, six. All changing angle, changing distance, changing directions. Wing Chun wouldn't tell me you need to. You need to uh, upgrade to this level. What, what people do today to, uh, to look good, to like strengthen their leg, uh, their hand, well, well, that's fine. That's a really low beginner level. It's not talking about all this momentum thing I just shared with you for this six. You need a wooden dummy for those. And then only after this, you're proficient with it. Then, you make a judgment. Should I go ngao sao, go outside? Or should I go in right away? And this is Kei Zhang, another, another close body. You, you need to have all this under your belt. Otherwise, how can you play? You always keep playing. After you practice the wounded army, you're still doing, oh, jab, jab, okay? and then cross, and then body shot. I mean, or then, or you just, uh, just underhook. Come on, that doesn't, doesn't show that Wing Chun.